Hey guys, Pat here, and today we are looking at the Logitech G613 wireless mechanical keyboard. This beast right here. And what I want to talk about is how this could potentially be the greatest keyboard ever made, but it's just not quite there yet. There are a few things that are missing, there are a few things that I would change. So let's talk about it, let's talk about what it can and what it cannot do and well, how it is to use day to day. Now I don't know when the last time a person cared about uh, ghost key rollovers, so what I'm going to say is that nothing using this these keys no problems at all. I used as many keys as possible, I had no issues, and I wasn't doing a particularly long amount of string keys at a time, so I did not see any uh, ghosting or, or basically any issues in pressing keys. Now the things that I want to talk about mainly is the fact that it's mechanical and wireless. Now first of all, being a mechanical keyboard is not nothing new, but that being paired with a wireless receiver is something new. Now in the past we've had normal keyboards that are wireless, but there's been something about mechanical keyboards that the amount of, I guess, power they use and or maybe even the amount of data they send is just a little bit too much for uh, just standard receivers. But in Logitech's mind, since the G900 uh, mouse, which is one of the best wireless mouses. I would say it is the best, but there are other people who have opinions or otherwise. I'm um, happy to oblige, but it is one of the best uh, mouses and it has one of the best receivers in the industry where uh, people that are actually playing games for a living use that mouse, which to me basically means it's it can be used by anyone at home. Now this keyboard has the exact same type of receiver that it can do a 1000 polling rate, uh, which is, you know, I mean, when you have that mouse, you might as well set it to that. You can set it to a 500 polling rate or 100, but you want to set it to 1000. So this uses that receiver and it works really well. So there, well, in my experience, I only had about a 99.9% .9 perfect play. There were some moments from when I touched uh, one of the keys, by the time the first key was actually uh, basically recognized on my screen or in the word, it, only the second key was recognized. So once I pressed that one, and then the second one, like let's say I was typing hello, it would start with E-L-L-O. So that only happened very, very rarely. So don't think that this is probably an issue with the keyboard. It could be, I don't know, I wasn't really able to test, but remember that I had four other wireless receivers in my computer. You can see them sticking out just there, this, well, there's well, there's a three there, and then the fourth one is a cable. Um, but I have my wireless G900. I have this, and I've also got the MX Ergo wireless mouse that I'm using uh, on the side to test and and review. So there's a lot of wireless interfer interference, but I think the issue is really from the wake up. So. Uh, I have a feeling to save battery, this goes into like a low powered mode where if you press the first key it might not recognize all the time but the second one automatically gets recognized. In games it's not necessarily an issue, uh, while using W to work, walk forward I would press W uh, and then it would kind of pick up like a second later so it wasn't too much of an issue but as soon as that happened and I was constantly using keys there was no wireless connectivity issues at all. Now obviously because it's a mechanical keyboard the Roma G key switches there are absolutely fantastic. They're really good. Like they're competing very well with obviously the Cherry MXs. They have a lot more choices, but these Roma Gs fit in the, just that sweet spot that you'd expect from, uh, well, a nice gaming keyboard and even something to type on. I actually find typing on this one a lot better than the Browns I have in my Corsair K98. So what else is weird about this? Well, it's not lighting up. As you can see, and I've been pressing some buttons, things are happening, this is plugged in, this is working. It is not lit up. Now personally, I've gone from a non-lit keyboard to a lit keyboard to, well, now this non-lit. And I have to say that is a missing feature of this keyboard. Now I can understand that the battery life would be completely trashed if this was lit up. There's so many keys to light up and, you know, you'd say the LEDs don't use that much power, but they probably would because of the amount and if you want to go RGB, but to me, if this had just basic lit up keys, just white LEDs, I would be super happy because even in the evenings, I had a little bit of hard time, for example, typing in my passwords or maybe websites or anything of that uh, required a little bit of thought. Um, if I'm chatting, I don't really look at it because I don't really care about spelling, but I wouldn't mind a lit up keyboard. Usually gamers play at night and daytime wasn't an issue but I would like to see a lit up keyboard. Now the other thing is, this bit here is non-removable, so you are stuck 
with the full keyboard. There is really uh, nothing I can say about this except I wouldn't mind this to be a little bit of a rubber uh, or, or a material matte finish. This is an almost matte finish, but it's a very smooth plastic. Um, and you know, the design isn't, it's very plain. It's not, it's not very Logitech. They do add a little pizzazz to it, maybe some sharp corners, but everything here is rounded. Um, to be honest, it's a perfect keyboard for somebody who works in the office, but is a gamer at night. Uh, I would suggest and even say that this would be great for you guys if you're in the office um, and you want a mechanical keyboard that is wireless um, and looks really nice and doesn't scream gaming, blah, 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 because all the time it's sharp corners, red lights and accents and all sorts of things like that. We've got some flicks here on the back to make it tall or short. Um, personally, uh, I appreciate that. There's a, obviously Apple's got some keyboards that don't even have anything like that. So uh, it's always good to know. Now this comes with a receiver, but it can also work with Bluetooth. So you can connect it to your laptop, um, which is a fantastic thing without using a USB connection. Um, and obviously you've got actually a button to switch between Bluetooth and wireless. So potentially you could have uh, it in a laptop on the side and in your main computer um, without issues. Now the buttons on here, they're all clicky. They're like a click click for like a play stop sound. Uh, I don't really like it. I like a scroll wheel that I can like kind of spin around. Um, and the, the, the sound clickiness, I don't know. I, didn't really like it. I felt like I'm just gonna be clicking, click, 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 and even holding it down didn't feel very good. Um, so I would change this to maybe a more pivoted uh, button because this is not a pivot. It's a one single button with two pins on the back where you can, if you press on this on the middle, you can actually pretty much click both of them. Um, I didn't really like that. Um, other than that, I've been using this keyboard day to day since I got it, since the unboxing, and I've absolutely loved it. I've had no particular issues that would stop me from recommending this, um, but you also have to consider the price tag, and to be honest, non-lit keys are really a deal breaker for me. Like, I think I will continue using this for a little while longer, but I might pop back to another Logitech keyboard, because I'm, to be honest, I'm starting to want to step away from my Corsair. It just doesn't feel good anymore. Those Roma G switches really do have a great balance. Um, so Roma G, wireless keyboard, and it's mechanical. I mean, it's a great selling point, but it's missing lit keyboards, lit keycaps. If that happens, this will be my number one choice. Oh, and replace these stupid buttons with a scroll wheel. Come on, it's not that hard. You have it in all your other keyboards, Logitech. It's not that hard at all. But hi, guys, this is a pretty good recommendation from my end. Um, I, there's only those few things that I will change. So guys, thank you very much for watching uh, this review of uh, the Logitech G13 mechanical wireless keyboard, a bit of a mouthful, but it's a wonderful product. Uh, and it's a great first step in the, uh, in the wireless keyboard scene. And to be honest, I mean, at the moment, this is probably the, the best one you can get. It's wireless and it's from Logitech. So you can't expect quite good quality in regards to its build quality. And that's why I can sort of shove it around and you know, nothing's falling apart. It's quite a nice build quality. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in another video. Uh, stay subscribed or subscribe, like or dislike. Let me know why you didn't like the video. Uh, tell me what keyboard you'd like to get in the past. Are you gonna get this keyboard? Is this something you want for this year? Could potentially be. Let me know how you go. Thanks guys.